I'm Alan Grovner, CEO of MizBay, and we are at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, 2024. I am joined by Mike Francois, our lead of architecture at MizBay. And Mike, this is an incredible show. Yeah, definitely. It's something amazing. A lot of opportunities, people. It's incredible here. So glad to be here. And there's such a diversity of companies and technologies here. I am so thrilled to be introducing Guru at this global, amazing stage. Okay. And we see a lot of people, they embrace uh, what we bring here. It's, it's incredible. Already yesterday, we, we start yesterday, we meet a lot of people, they already be interested by, uh, by, by, by Guru, by all the things that was done for, for, the, for many years. This uh, maturity which we, we, we bring here, uh, with a lot of uh, uh, good people, they bring uh, uh, with uh, good skills, uh, uh, amazing products. So totally. Yeah. And so far, we've mostly been demonstrating Guru Generation One. Of course, we've been working very hard on Generation Two, and we learned a lot from Generation One. But we really realized we needed to go back to a clean sheet and come up with brand new architecture for generation two to make sure that it is performance for our commercial subscribers. We re-architected the front end, the interface, the way we train the skills agents and the way we orchestrate the agents, including multi-agent orchestration. We re-architected the back end, including the state service. And we also came up with a new architecture and strategy for cloud agnostic compute job deployment. Yeah, definitely. So I think that uh, um, what people see today, it's nothing compared to Generation 2. It's something incredible that when we see where we're coming from and what we can realize before and what we prepare now to bring on the table for the Generation 2, it's totally a game changer for, for the next uh, projects and anything that we can bring for Miss Bay and every customer. Mike, interactive AI is the wave of AI now. Prompt engineering, in my opinion, has always been kind of over, and it certainly is over now. People don't want to have to discover how to communicate with software. They just want to make their request. They want to use their voice sometimes. They just want to type their request sometimes. Sometimes they want to use gestures flexibly. And in generation two, we have come up with a fully flexible way for the user to interact with the system. Type, voice, sketch, type, uh, uh, point, click, tap. Also, gestures in 3D when you're wearing a uh, 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 VR uh, headset. There's so much opportunity with spatial computing now, and we're making it happen in Guru Generation 2. You will be able to use gestures and voice if you want. Yeah, definitely. The intermodal interaction, which is implemented for the generation two, it's incredible, and it brings a new user experience that gives a lot of uh, 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 complete completion about uh, what they want to execute and what they want to realize for the project. And it's also, as I said, a game changer uh, in regard of the resilience of uh, of the time. It's faster, um, it's better, and uh, it's bigger. So, and we'll have a lot of. Uh, Thing that we have implemented in, uh, in, in Generation 2 with multi-agents and other implementation, which can bring better solution, faster, better, and uh, higher. Yeah, definitely. And, and I mean, Mike, not everybody appreciates the importance of architecture, right? So some, some people, a lot of companies will just develop software and continuously add this part and that part. And it's very easy to end up really bogging down your system, right? Definitely. This is the most important thing when we want to make a system, a software, to understand all the building blocks and the capabilities from a company to build the system resilient and performance. And what is also very interesting by bringing a software architecture, we have a high vision, a long-term vision, also to bring a solution which can live a long time without uh, re re redoing a lot of work as we have done for the generation one. So with generation two, we brought a lot of knowledge experience from the generation one 
plus an amazing user experience technologies and solutions for all people who they want to embrace a faster solution for the simulation and all the market that uh, Generation 2 will, um, we will uh, display for the, next, uh, for the next shows. I'm so proud of what we've been accomplishing lately for Generation 2, enabling our users to use the Guru interface on their phone or on their laptop or tablet or in spatial computing. Yeah, definitely. So we can imagine that uh, our, uh, which kind of computer we need to run Blender, to need CAD or something. And now in your pocket, you can have all the opportunity to simulate anything in a minute. In a minute, it's incredible. So we can imagine that everyone is capable now to do some complex workflow with uh, an amazing assistant. And yeah, this is what uh, Guru brings and people like it so much, so it's amazing. And Generation 2, as I said, it's another experience. Absolutely, uh, 100%. I am so excited about what we're accomplishing with Generation 2. And uh, we're starting to show some pro prototype demonstrations, and we have first invited beta users that we're started, starting to work with. There's so much more that we're going to be accomplishing. We're at the beginning of 2024 here at the Consumer Electronics Show. There's no better way to kick off the year and all of uh, the activities that we have going on right now. And later this year, when we start rolling out beta access to more and more users, we're gonna be demonstrating so much more of this capability to the public. It's an exciting time. Thank you, Mike. Uh, thank you very much. Uh